Hi, my name is Mark Bleesk and I'm an industrial arts teacher uh, here in Lockport, Manitoba. I'm going to go over the various machines that are needed to get a board from a rough state into a finished state. That means that the board is planed on the two large surfaces as well as the ends would be cut and the edges would be uh, shaped as well, either planed or cut with a, with a table saw, which we're going to go through uh, the basic four machines here to begin with that would dimension the lumber. To start off with, we're going to talk about the, the thickness planer. <clears throat> now this thickness planer is a 20 inch thickness planer. It is going to take a board and uh, allow a big barrel of blades. There's 56 blades on this on a barrel. It's a helical barrel that's in here. And those teeth are like uh, uh, one inch teeth. That each one cuts uh, very, very quickly and allows the wood to pass through and be trimmed all off the top uh, of the wood. Now. The thickness planer only works well if you have a flat bottom to begin with. If you don't have a flat bottom to get, begin with, is this garbage in, garbage out? You're going to get a plain board, but it's still going to be crooked on the way out. So you have to make sure that the board has a flat surface on the bottom as well, which we're going to go over in a moment on the jointer planer, which is right next to me. These two machines, the jointer planer over here and the thickness planer here, they work in uh, in tune with each other. You need to have one to work the other one because you need to have a flat surface to get the thickness plane to work properly. Sometimes you'll get a board coming from the lumber yard that is pretty darn perfectly straight and you can go straight into the thickness plane. Uh, unfortunately that's rare so you have to make sure that the board is straight before you pass it through here. Uh, now the rules of the road for this thickness plane are as follows. Um, if you're in a junior high situation, of course, the, the person would be asking a teacher or instructor permission to use the machine. Uh, I'm doing this uh, whole series of lessons for the junior high student. And uh, if you are just woodworkers on your own, uh, you're not obviously not going to ask somebody permission to use the machines. But I want the junior high student that is listening to this program to understand that you must ask an adult's permission to use the machine before you use it, even if you know how. It's important that that adult knows that you're using the machine and that you're using it properly. In an area like this, you only want to have one operator working this machine. We have these the areas demarcated with yellow, and that's kind of important because we don't want to have somebody bothering you. It's not a social event to come and use a machine like this. You must make sure that you're using it and you have all your attention on the machine and that you're not going to be looking around and talking to somebody while you're operating the machine. To adjust this machine, uh, this table that we have here can go up and down. We would uh, measure the, the board, uh, the board thickness to make sure that we have the right thickness of the board. Once you have the know, know what the board thickness is, in this case it's one inch, I'm going to bring it down to one inch. There we go. But that is not going to actually cut the board. You have to actually take a little bit off after you've got it to the measurement that you want it to be. In this case here, this board is almost ready to rock and roll. There are teeth inside here, right here, you can hear them. Those are kickback teeth. They will allow the board to go this way, but hopefully not that way, if you've set up the machine properly. If the bed is too low, those kick pe uh, kickback teeth aren't going to work. So that's why it's uh, very, very important that you measure the board and set it to the proper measurement so that you can pass it through uh, safely. If we are going to plane a board that is less than, a, let's, uh, let's say, a quarter inch thick, we would have to use something called a carrier board. And what that does is it makes the board uh, that you're planing uh, appear thicker to the machine because the machine cannot lower go, go lower than a quarter inch. You've now raised it or made it thicker so that it can go through. And we can now plane the board to be whatever thickness you want. Uh, you, as, as a student using this machine, it is very important that you don't go below three quarters of an inch as far as planing is concerned, unless you've got the teacher's permission. The reason for that is, uh, it's very easy to get mesmerized up by this machine. Just pass it in, pass it in, pass it in, because you're trying to get rid of a knot, you're trying to get rid of some kind of anomaly in the board, and you don't realize you've gone down to a board that's almost not usable anymore. So make sure that you understand that three quarters of an inch is the kind of lumber size that we would use pretty much everywhere in the shop. Uh, if you go low, less than three quarters of an inch, you have to have a very specific use for that uh, size that you're going for, whatever that might be. And in that case, you tell the instructor, I'm going less than three quarters of an inch, is that okay? And the instructor would okay that for you. Do not look into the throat of the machine while it's in operation. Things can come out of there very, very quickly. 
uh, they, there's a kickback velocity of not the knots and pieces of sawdust. Now, if it hits you in, in your body, probably won't hurt you all that much, but if it hits you in the face, in your eyes, definitely could hurt you. You take your eyesight away from you. That brings me to the point of making sure you're wearing some kind of a goggles. Um, you're going to make sure that you have your area clear. You don't want to have things sitting on here, like uh, old wrenches or pieces of wood. You don't want to have anything fall into your work area when you're actually ready to use the machine. Again, you got a better shot here. Now you can see that the it says thinner. I would turn it this way in order to make the wood, uh, the bed come up to make the wood thinner. All right. So now I'm going to turn this on. I'm going to go over here and turn it on. <laughs> surface and it's nice and smooth and flat and that's important that you want to have a flat board to use and the rest of whatever it is you're doing making the project uh, it, it into a project so the thickness planer uh, just to recap uh, is a machine that's going to make a board to a desired thickness that the board has is has to be flat before you put it in there and that you make sure you set your uh, height to a proper height ask permission if you're in a school situation and also make sure that you're wearing proper safety uh, equipment. Oh, yeah, look at yourself as well, and that you don't have anything loose or hanging, uh, no tassels from your hoodies, uh, no uh, uh, long sleeves, make sure you roll them up. Uh, make sure your shoelaces are tied. You shouldn't be wearing flip-flops in this classroom for you know, the reason that you could drop a board on your toes and that wouldn't be a good idea. Uh, make sure that you have a no, no dangling jewelry, no uh, bling hanging down uh, low, and that your hair, if it's long, goes into a ponytail and uh, that keeps it out of the way.